there's such a thing called ballot momentum. Uh, and, and when you win a primary, you tend to win the next primary. It's, uh, these, these ideas of these firewalls that tend to be uh, myths. Uh, South Carolina could be good for Nikki Haley. But on the other hand, if, if Biden, uh, if Trump wins Iowa big as expected to, and he wins uh, New Hampshire, I can't, I can't see him uh, really, I can see him barreling through South Carolina, despite Nikki Haley being from the state. Donald Trump is that is that popular, and he'll that have that much momentum going for him going for him. So he will set his, he will make history by being the first uh, Republican non-incumbent to win uh, both Iowa and New Hampshire. You know, there you know, was the uh, in 1980, George mm -hmm. Bush unexpectedly won Iowa, and he had ballot momentum. But in those days, there was five weeks between the Iowa caucuses and the Hampshire primary. It gave Reagan a time to recover, and he then won the New Hampshire primary. Well, that's a good point. I was going to actually bring up 1980, and those five weeks were crucial for Reagan because yes. he didn't debate in Iowa, uh, and that that hurt him. Uh, right. And Bush and Bush took advantage of that. But then Reagan and his team got their act together and said, "What in the world? We better uh, redouble our efforts." And uh, anyhow, the rest is history. They won New uh, Reagan won New Hampshire. Let's talk about New Hampshire and Iowa, to two totally different states, and that is a big reason why someone can win in Iowa but then not win in New Hampshire. Like for example, Rick Santorum, he wins Iowa, culture, culture war crusader. Mike Huckabee right. wins Iowa, culture war crusader. They go to New Hampshire and, and you know, as I like to say a lot of times on the show, womp womp, it kind of ends in New Hampshire because it's a different um, voter clientele, if you will. Yeah, yes it is. They're, they're similar and they're different. They're both rural, they're both uh, agrarian. Uh, but they they have different political attitudes. I would say Iowa, at least on the Republican side, is more uh, Christian based, more religious. And New Hampshire, I, I worked in New Hampshire politics for many years, uh, is more is more libertarian, small L libertarian. But they tend to be more anti-establishment, more libertarian. So you've got to define a message, and I think Donald Trump has that resonates both with Iowa voters and New Hampshire voters, and that actually that re resonates nationally. Well, I'm so glad you brought that up because that's kind of leading me into my next question, which is the fact that if you can win Iowa and New Hampshire, and, and the fact that it's never been done before says a lot about the fact that, you know, there, there are voters from different ilks, from different uh, sects of the party, but Trump just seems to have the broad appeal across the entire party. We've seen that in the polling. And so you go from the polling and it translates to the fact that he would win in both in Iowa and in New Hampshire. That just shows Trump's not only staying power, uh, but indeed, uh, the fact that he can he can uh, win in in both states. And by the way, let me just say it's something Hogan Gidley said at the top of our show about uh, this election coming up. I think one of the main reasons that Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis will never beat Trump is that the they misjudge the electorate. The electorate believes th there needs to be a do over from what happened in 2020, and this is the do over. Well, De DeSantis uh, and 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 Nikki Haley. Neither have a signature issue message. One, True. And, not, and number two is neither tells the voters what they're going to do for the voters. They're running resume campaigns. Donald Trump says, "I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to dig for. I'm going to. I'm going to dig. Uh, dig for oil." Uh, he tells the, "I'm going to stand up. To, I'm going to drain the swamp." He tells the American voter, especially the Republican primary voter, what he's going to do, and he resonates. Haley doesn't say that much anyway, uh, and DeSantis doesn't say that. 